I remember in 92, we had quite a plume of ash. And you used common sense, let it settle down, and then went out and collected our ash. I remember getting out of my car and reaching up and feeling my hair, and I could feel the sand-sized ash in my hair. For many, the ash fall from the 1992 Mount Spur eruption was unforgettable. For retired volcanologist Game McGimsey, it marked a career-defining moment of awe and discover. For my whole 39-year career with the USGS, that day was top of the heap. I mean, it doesn't get any better for a volcanologist than to be able to go and get up close uh, to subplenian eruption. The eruption sent ash plumes sky high, but before the Alaska Volcano Observatory fully understood the event, McGimsey was sent to take a closer look. I can remember pulling the cameras away from my face and just looking at it and thinking, oh my gosh, I mean, this is truly magnificent. The eruption lasted hours, disrupting air travel and worsening Anchorage's air quality. Ash fall began and ended in about three hours. Um, but the air quality that evening and night in Anchorage was really rather poor, as reported by the municipality. While Mount Spurs 1992 eruption shaped McGimsey's career, for locals who've endured multiple eruptions, the concern now feels temperate. We are not in charge as man. Better live by faith because there's no other way to survive against things. Arnold Ingram David, your Alaska Lane, Anchorage.